Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Alvain Ace. Today I want to share with you a prophecy that the Lord gave me for New York City. Now recently I traveled to the US for ministry and I was passing through New York City. But strange enough, even though I spent a few days there, the revelation that I want to share with you, the prophecy that the Lord gave me, I did not receive while I was there. But something interesting did happen though. As I was there for a few days, it's like the Lord gave me compassion for New York City and the people living there. It's, it's like I, I picked up a, a burden for New York City, a burden to pray for them. Now at that stage, I didn't know exactly what for because I didn't get any revelation other than that. But when I came home a few weeks later, I spent some time in prayer and that those are the things that I want to share with you that the Lord revealed to me in that time. Some of them were visions and then also I heard the Holy Spirit say a few things for New York City. Now, before I begin, I do want to pray because the, the nature of the things that I'm going to share are sensitive and it might be even triggering to some people. So if you have gone through any traumatic experiences, please just watch this with caution and also pray, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you the right things that, that must be heard. So Lord, I just pray to be a clear vessel for you to only say what you want to release Holy Spirit. And Lord, I pray that you guide my words, guide my actions and have your way in this live stream and in this video in Jesus name. Amen. So guys, it, it started off with a, a vision that I saw. It was like a bird's eye view of New York City. I saw the map of Manhattan and the surrounding areas in a vision from a bird's eye view. And my attention was, was brought to the streets. It's like I saw a street view of what was happening, but I also saw the underground. So I could see both of them. It's, it's difficult to explain, but I saw both of them in a singular vision and my attention was drawn to what was happening in the underground system of New York City and then something took place it looked to me like a detonation or even a, a an explosion I don't know if people got hurt in this in the vision I didn't see that so that is my personal prayer that no one gets hurt you know in this detonation in this event but as this detonation took place I saw how above ground the the road was lifting up kind of like you know lifting up and then coming back to normal again and the the sense that I had is that something is about to happen in the underground but it will have above ground results and repercussions and in the next vision I saw people in hazmat suits those orange or yellow hazardous material suits inspecting what just happened inspecting the underground but also on top of the street uh, investigating what just took place and I saw a newspaper headline and it was a picture of these people in hazmat suits and I saw written on the top of this newspaper New York Times now, I used to see this when I used to watch movies from America. Um, I'm in South Africa and I don't know if that still exists, but that's what I saw in the vision was New York Times and then this hazmat suit, the picture of people in hazmat suits investigating what just happened. And I believe that there is an underground event that's going to take place, but it's going to cause an investigation. It's going to force the uh, government or, you know, authorities to actually investigate what is happening underground in New York City. And I saw things being exposed. So an event triggered an investigation and more things came to light. And then I heard the Holy Spirit say this, that an underground event that will have above ground repercussions. And the Lord gave me Luke 12 verses 2 to 3, which says, For there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, nor hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have spoken in the dark will be heard in the light. And what you have spoken in the ear in inner rooms 
will be proclaimed on the housetops. And I heard the Holy Spirit also give me the following phrase where he says, it will look like a natural disaster, but there is in fact a greater, more sinister plan behind this. What is done in darkness will not remain in darkness. And guys, it's very clear that what happened underground will trigger something far greater. It will, uh, the media will even try and cover this up because in that vision of the hazmat suits, I heard the words gas line and it was evident to me that they will try and sketch a picture of a gas line failure or a gas line ex explosion taking place. But it was in fact something far deeper and darker that actually took place and it will be exposed through the prophetic. Daniel 2.28 tells us that there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries or who reveals secrets. And this is the exciting part. I believe that the Lord is using the prophetic in this time to expose the plans of the enemy, to expose the plans that media is trying to hide. And the truth will come out because the, the prophetic is the eyes of the Lord and the mouthpiece of the Lord showing what is really happening, showing the truth. And when the true prophets and vessels, prophetic voices come to the forefront, they will expose what is happening. It's almost like the Lord is taking the prophetic to a whole nother level in this season. There's an increase and an acceleration taking place that God will use prophetic voices for solving crimes, finding missing people, exposing syndicates, exposing uh, drugs and trafficking and all these kind of things that God will use the prophetic to expose that that the true prophetic will come to the forefront again and not just be man focused, not just be prophetic words elevating people or giving people a platform, but the prophetic being used for justice, for, for righteousness, that Jesus may be glorified through this all. So guys, I hope that word uh, blesses you, but it also urges you to pray for New York City. So do me a favor, give this video a like so it goes out. It really does help the algorithm, but also share this video with someone that you might know that is in New York City or someone that works there or is going to travel there even that we can pray against this, but also as a watchman that we have an obligation and a responsibility to pray for this, but also warn people that might be affected by this. So guys, bless you all. Thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you then in a few days time for another video.